So a global debt-based Federal Reserve style bank inevitably will plunge the entire world into an incredible depression where we're going to wind up eating each other. And this is why it must be avoided at all costs. I agree with you. Let's take some calls from Mike Rivero joining us from Hawaii via video cam right now simulcasting at PrisonPlanet.tv and at Genesis on the radio. Let's go ahead and talk to Peter in Iraq. Peter, thank you for holding. Uh, you're on the air. Um, hey, Alex. Um, Jesse Ventura made a great point uh, the other day, and I just want to bring it back up. He was saying that, um, and I know you're all about a bloodless, um, peaceful revolution, and he made a great point about how, oh, I'm too old to re-enlist and take back the military. Well, wouldn't you... Uh, I think it would be a great idea to have people enlist in the military who are enlightened, who know what's going on, and then when they give the orders, just be like, sorry, uh, I just work to hold the Constitution, not uh, any executive branch or anybody else. Yes, I mean, I've said that it's all what, I mean, that's a very complex issue, and I want to get Mike Rivero's take on that as well. Look, we know that as the police get more and more corrupt leadership and as they're told to do more and more things that are unconstitutional and as the media plays these mind games and legitimizes it all that the stupid ignorant foolish or or wicked people and there's a mix of all those will stay in the police forces the good ones will get out and then you're left with a bunch of rotten apples the same thing for the military as they hire illegal aliens as they hire criminals as they kill military investigators as the corruption gets worse and worse the good people get out and it's a race to the bottom. But how can you expect good people to stay in when they're going to be sent on fraudulent missions, when they're going to be stuck in bad situations, where they're going to be given these experimental vaccines and shots? Um, I think it's a good thing that there are a lot of good people in the military. At the same time, I wouldn't wish anybody to join this military that's controlled by offshore banks. I mean, we know that the uh, of any Democrat or any Republican, Ron Paul got the most money. I mean, Ron Paul got over 70% of the military contributions until he got out of the race, and then, and then, and then uh, Obama got most of them because he was saying it in the war. So I know the troops are good. That's why they're trying to replace them with Blackwater and illegal aliens and felons. So it's a very complex question. I mean, I can't make that decision. I can't sit here and tell you what I think you should do. I think that's for you to decide. Mike Rivera? Yeah, absolutely agree. Unfortunately, the moral and the immoral are mutually exclusive societies, and neither one tolerates the presence of the other. So once the government and the military and corporate culture starts to go bad, it goes all the way bad. They go out of their way to eject anybody who's not going to go along with the program. We saw that with Cynthia McKinney. We saw it with Ron Paul. It is, it is almost impossible for an honest, moral person to stay in Congress. They can get in there for a first time, but they very quickly find themselves on the outs. It is a sort of like, remember the high school clique where all the popular rich kids would get together and they could do whatever they wanted and get away with it all. That's basically what the U.S. government has become. It's the socias. It's the privileged. And they basically see themselves as inheritors of the rulership of not only the United States, but of the entire world. And any sacrifice to that objective is, is perfectly justified. We're seeing just in the economic policies here in the United States, there is no respect left for the working class people. There is no respect even for the middle class people. Uh, the entire bailout consists of taking trillions of dollars from the American people to give to the banks so the banks can loan it back to the American people at interest. That doesn't really make any sense. And there's no talk about bringing back manufacturing on which the entire economy... No, yeah, you're right. Rest. Everything else is being sacrificed on the altar of globalism, which is what they want. They want a consolidated system. You know, I just hope when you get back from Iraq, Peter, there's a country to come back to. Any, any, uh, anything else from Iraq, Peter? Well, I mean, if uh, if you really expect uh, the, the people to stand up and fight, I mean, they have to know how to, even if it's a support job medic or whatever. Or, or I mean, I'm not saying my, my generation, or even if it's beyond my generation, has I can't, you know, isn't going to have to make sacrifices. If you're going to ha uh, have a revolution, if you need Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen. To people are going to try to CPS people's kids, and it's happening more and more. I see it in the news every week. And people are just going to kill them. And cops are going to stop people at a checkpoint, and the citizens are just going to get out. And it, it's already starting to happen. And the, and the media kind of keeps it quiet. 
Uh, but you see the reports all the time. It's usually old vets, Korean War, Vietnam. Uh, most of them are dead now, but I'm, they've had a couple cases in Austin where World War II vets would get pulled over and harassed by cops in Hayes County, and the, and the old vet would just get out and kill them. You know, I'd say, buddy, I'm not your slave. This isn't Nazi Germany. You're dead. And, you know, the cop can argue about that all day and have the media say the old man was bad. But at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of blood. And, and the system knows that. And, you know, as, look, if we're self-sufficient, they can't beat us. That's why they want to shut down the farms and ranches and get control. And, uh, you know, if we try to have a Continental Congress or something like that, they're going to send feds in. They'd stage a truck bomb outside and say we did it. We've got a grassroots take over the counties and cities. These big centralized assaults aren't going to work. We've got to try to keep it peaceful as long as we can, but they're not going to be peaceful. These guys are arrogant. They never have lost in the past. This is what always happens. They're going to start fights with us, and you're going to know. You're going to know, you know, as more Wacos happen, as more things happen like that, you're just going to have more and more people say, I'm done. And you're going to have more massacres of kids getting shot and people dying in ambulances because the cops won't let them get to the hospital. And you're just going to have more and more of this is going to happen. And, and it's, just, it's probably going to be a war. I mean, if you really want to know, folks, it, it's probably going to end up in a shooting war in this country. And I wish that wasn't the case uh, because I've, I've had my butt kicked and I've, uh, you know, uh, lived a little bit. I know it's not fun and not macho, but it is what it is. And I'm not licking boots and I'm not going along with this crap anymore. And so it is what it is. And uh, so the troops need to decide whose side they're on and what they're going to do. Anything else from Iraq, Peter? Well, if you don't know how to fight, you're going to be cut down like fodder. That, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Just because you shoot a gun doesn't mean you know what you're doing. And if you're well, playing, well, listen, I understand you're over there. Hold on, sir. I understand you're over there in Iraq dealing with the Iraqis and all the rest of them. But, take, you know, the French resistance caused the Nazis a lot of problems, and they'd already been a disarmed public. It's like moose hunting. You know, in moose hunting, there's a lottery, and like one in five guys gets a moose ticket. I mean, if people actually decided to go after the police and military, let's say there's two million of them. Uh, let's say there's three million of them. I mean, let's say five million Americans decided to go moose hunting. It's over very quickly. All you got to get is one moose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Peter? Uh, yeah, but... Uh Oh, absolutely, but if you value your own individual life, you might not want to want to know what you're doing. So The revolution might live on. We might, as a whole, win, but uh, if you value your individual life, you might want to know what you're doing. No, I, I stay there. I want to hear more of what you have to say with Mike Rivero. Stay with us. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. 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 This is going to be a war of ideas, even if it gets physical. It's going to be about who is seen in the right, who is going to seen in the wrong. And as long as we have the population with us, we're going to win this war against the globalists. But we have to tell that story. We have to explain the control grid, who the globalists are, what their plan is, what they've done. You explain to the public that cancer's up several thousand percent from 50 years ago because they're putting cancer viruses in their shots. We're going to have the army we need. And then the uh, dying's going to stop. We're under attack. We're under military attack. People just have to have the will to be able to admit how serious this is. Coming up at the 20 after next hour, I'm going to, for 40 minutes, break down just a small snapshot of the cashless society control grid, how it ties into cybersecurity. Okay? So I'm going to spend 40 minutes on this. I've, I've done a lot of research, and that's coming up. we got this segment and the next with Mike Rivero. I want to go to Kurt, Roger, Todd, Jeremy, Steve, and others. But uh, Peter... You know, as they teach in the military, I know if your boots on the ground, they're probably not teaching you this, but the point is 90% of war is psychological. We do need to reach out to the military and police before it's too late, but a lot of them are on power trips and are too far gone, especially in police forces. Uh, and, 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 you know, training is fine and dandy, and uh, it's great. But the problem is the feds are all over that type of training. Insert their people who call for violence and send folks to prison. So if you are going to train, train with people you've known for years, people you trust, and call it a shooting club, a tactical shooting club, and don't make it all secret agent. -y. You know, just, oh, we go out to the deer camp and, you know, we do, you know, we do this. Uh, and you can, you know, read up on the French resistance and others and books like Total Resistance and Guerrilla Warfare. But this is an urban guerrilla warfare, so it's a little bit different. First thing I tell the militia, stop wearing camouflage. I see them in the cities in camo. You know, in the cities, camo is a sports jacket and a tie. 
and you know you're real calm and hi, how you doing? That's 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 if things ever went to that, that's 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 your uniform, folks. Is a button up shirt and you know, hi, how you doing? Uh you better uh well, I don't want to get into that. The point is is that we don't want to sit there and think too much even about going to that level. We want to try to stop things politically. And things will work themselves. I mean, Mike Rivera, before I go back to the caller to finish up, any comments on what we're saying? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we need to avoid violence as long as possible because violence will only justify further repression uh, by the government. We know the government likes to plant people within the uh, peace movement to be violent so the media can attack us. I mean, look at all these so-called phony terrorist groups that were set up by the FBI informants. This is just the way the other side likes to play. And so we need to avoid getting sucked but into But now that. they get caught. Now they yes. get caught. I mean, it used to it took us years to expose that uh, 93 was a fake deal.